All right, what's up, guys? I'm sitting over here thinking about the word accountability. So as a coach, how often do you think I hear, I just need someone to hold me accountable? A lot, right? And I really, I've been thinking about this, and there's just something about the energy of saying, I need someone else to hold me accountable. I don't like it. There's something about it I don't like, and it's never sat well with me, and I've been digging into it, and I think I found something, okay? Because I'll tell you what, I used to be in that mindset. I remember being disempowered and overweight and feeling like I could never do it. I can't figure it out. I'm just going to be overweight forever, and I remember having the thought and thinking, I just need some trainer to like move into my house and like hit the brownie out of my hand and like watch me and make me do all these things and all this stuff. Yeah, that's why I didn't get there. That mentality of I need someone else to hold me accountable for the decisions that I make for me is why I wasn't getting the results that I was getting. So when I have a new client coming in and they say, you know, I have my little intake form and it's like, why are you hiring me? And I see I need someone to hold me accountable. I'm like, oh, shit. (laughs) I'll be honest with you. I almost have the thought like, I don't want to work with you then. (laughs) Yep. And I get it. I know it's like a commonplace thing and I don't do that, but I do have that thought. I'm like, oh God, man. Like, cause if you're not accountable to you, I don't care who you're, what course, program, coach, whatever. I have been down this road a million times. My clients who get results are the clients who show up for them and are accountable to themselves. And there's no one who can do that for you. I'm definitely, I feel like I'm pretty good at mindset and turning people back inside of themselves and talking about these things and talking through them. But if you aren't accountable to you and you're in this like disempowered position of like, it's like this like mommy daddy thing where it's like, oh no, my coach is going to be so mad at me. That is so disempowering to you. I will never be like that with my clients. I respect the hell out of my clients and who they are. And when I see them exhibiting that kind of mentality, I'm like, "Mm -mm, eh, you're sorry to me. (laughs) No, this is between you and you. And so I don't like this like accountability coach. Like I need someone to hold me accountable. It is so disempowering. The only person you are accountable to is you. That's it. End of story. And like, you know what? I was reading some different definitions of the word accountable. Yeah, it's like about responsibility, accepting responsibility. And I love that all day long, being real with myself, being honest with myself, you know, all of that ownership. I like that. But one thing that I read, it said accountability is generally means the a willingness to be judged based on performance. So now there's some outside source or you, at least you perceive in your mind, you've basically taken your, your like connection to self and put it on someone else and say, here, judge me based on my performance. So now where are you at? You're in this disempowered thing where you're just trying to like, please and do it for them. (laughs) You ain't never, ever, 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 ever going to get results in any place in your life at all. End of story, period. If you're doing it in order to please or meet some metric for someone else ever, I don't care if it's business. I mean, you might get there a little bit, but you're going to be in this low vibe, disempowered. I'm trying to prove myself, prove that I'm worth worthy because you probably got parental issues you never dealt with from childhood, but it's going to be this constant proving energy. (sighs) You know what got me results in my body? in my like spiritual connection and in, in relationships and improving friendships and like the kind of people that I entertain dating and all of this stuff. And in my business, when it was just me, just between me and me, it doesn't mean I haven't had coaches. I've had plenty of mentors and coaches. I really appreciate the information and the thoughts and all of that stuff that comes to mind. But when it comes to accountability, to me, what accountability is, is just, it's just being real with yourself. And like, what results am I getting out of the choices that I'm making? And it doesn't have to be so harsh. That is the biggest thing. That's what I don't like about accountability coach. It has like accountability, like I need an accountability coach. It has so much like guilt and shame intertwined into that. 
I didn't do it. I suck. I never blah, blah, blah. It's not about that. Oh my. So I've had accountability calls historically with all of my clients. I put all my one-on-one clients together and higher and we've called them accountability calls, but I've always been like trying so hard to explain it. I'm like, no, it's not like, it's not like that. It's not like I didn't do it. I suck. It's let's take a look and just marvel at that. Like, is it the way you make commitments? Are you like, I'm going to run a marathon this week? Are you that kind of person? And just having compassion and, and, and looking at that from outside, like, okay, I tend to overdo it on what I say I'm going to be able to do. I'm not like thinking about that logically or is it okay? Is it like that? I wasn't, it's usually a planning issue, honestly, right? Or I didn't really want that all the way. I just said that because everybody else was saying they meditated for 10 minutes a day. So I was like, I got to meditate for 10 minutes a day, but I didn't really want that. It's just dissecting that. Yeah. Be real. Be you. Yeah. And be real with yourself and show up for yourself. That's it. You know, and like being real and compassionate, a huge like bucket, like a five gallon bucket of like compassion is what most people need on, on goals. It's not about like this rigid, somebody else got to tell me what to do and I got to please them. That is not how I have seen any of my clients get the life changing results that they've gotten. I'm telling, I'm not saying that as like to float my own boat. I'm talking, I'm talking about them. Their life-changing results that they have gotten during the course of working with me, the life-changing ones, it is not an accountability coach thing. Like, did you please me? Did you do what you, you know, it's not like that. It's me constantly turning the power back into them, dousing with compassion, being able to, because if you don't have compassion, you won't look at shit. Do you get this? Please tell me you guys get this. If you don't have compassion on yourself, when you're like not doing everything perfectly, you won't look at it. That's why I say guilt and shame are a cop out because it hurts too much. It's uncomfortable. But if you can be like, okay, I did not go to the gym at all this week. It's not like, oh, God damn it. Didn't go to the gym. Ugh, I suck. Blah, blah, blah. It's not like that. If you can instead just be like, it's okay that I didn't go to the gym. Let me look at that. Now it's like a safe space because you're not being so freaking mean to yourself, right? And so it's like, okay, well, why didn't I go to the gym? (sighs) Now we're talking. Okay, so I didn't go to the gym because my kids were up four times last night and I keep trying to go to the gym at 5 a.m. And I don't think that's realistic. Oh, yay! Now we're making progress. And so that's what happens. This is what accountability, self-accountability. It's not this like, did you do it or didn't you do it? Do you get your gold star or do you get demoted on the little kindergarten chalkboard thing of you didn't do a good job today? It's not like that. It's like, okay, what's actually going on? Okay, cool. Or maybe it's, I don't like going to that gym. I just hate it in there. Okay, yay. Now we're making some progress. This is what accountability with yourself really looks like. It's just being honest with yourself and allowing yourself to have feelings and like noting what they are. That's how you get into solutions. Okay. So the next thing is like, okay, I don't like that gym. Okay. Well, what do you, what else What do you want to try? Well, there is that one other gym. Maybe I'll try it out. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay. Now we're going to get into something. Okay. But like this accountability coach mentality, I don't want to be your account. I have all sorts of that. The systems are in place in my coaching. We've got check-ins on Friday. Then we can do weekly calls. We got two Zoom calls a week. We got chat. We got lots of opportunity. But I don't ever look at my relationship with my clients as like, did you do it? Mm, well, you fail. It's not. <laughs> coaching to me is support and helping you find solutions inside yourself for what's actually going to work right? It's like, it's more like I'm here to help you dissect these things in a loving and empowering way so that we can get solutions. So that's why I just, I hate that. I hate the accountability. I need someone to hold me accountable mentality. If that is you, if that is what you've been saying and you're not getting results, I'm telling you that's why you're not getting results. You don't need someone else to hold you accountable. You might need support, right? And someone to help shift your paradigm a little and education and maybe some better programming or some new, you know, information. But if you think that getting someone else to hold you accountable so that you can get results on when your life is going to (laughs) work, you're kidding yourself. You are kidding yourself. (laughs) 
it is, it's just being real with ourselves. Do I like the results I'm getting out of my life in whatever area? No, I do not. Okay. So what do I want? Okay. And like, how can I find those solutions to get to that place? And when you're just doing, so we changed our accountability calls and higher. I, I changed them on the fly in our last call. I'm like, this does not feel aligned. I don't like this accountability. I just, ugh. something about it just doesn't feel right. And we changed it to, instead of me saying, what do you want to be held accountable for this week? Which is like a passive, almost like victim me, like, right? It's like, I'm being held accountable. I got to prove that I did this thing. Uh uh-uh. I don't like that energy. We switched it to, what do you want to do this? week. (laughs) Doesn't that feel a little better? What do you want to do this week? Now it's a want to, not a have to, because someone's holding me accountable and I got to prove that I'm worthy by doing the thing that someone's holding me accountable for. Nope. Anytime we're in this passive role of like, I'm being judged on performance if I do this or not, it just sucks the freaking power out of you. But instead it's like, I want this. I want to create my business. I want to talk to my dad about that hard thing. I want to do that instead of I said I was going to do it and shit. I don't want to, but I have to. So freaking disempowering. That is what I don't like about this mentality of needing someone else to hold us accountable. It's what do I want? And okay, I'm going to do it. Right? Or like, let's say you've got some suboptimal pattern, like an addiction or alcohol or dating people that are low vibe or like whatever. It's there's something in you. The answers are inside you and there's stuff pulling at you. And it's just a matter of if you're going to listen to it or not. That's all. And if you're not ready for that, you just might not be ready. And that's okay. Okay. And like the more compassion you can have on yourself or like, it's okay. I'm not there yet. Until it becomes a want to, and I want this for me, and I believe in myself, and I'm doing this, you're not going to get there. It's going to be, it's going to push you deeper into these levels of, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing a good enough job, like disempowerment. One of my most favorite podcasts is with my friend Brad Jensen. He goes by the Sober Bodybuilder here on Instagram. Anybody know Brad? By the way, I really like my podcast when he interviewed me recently. That was, if you want to hear me on a podcast, I'm being, I feel very narcissistic saying that. <laughs> I feel like that podcast, he's such a good interviewer. Um, it was like, I was like, that podcast was like freaking me. That was like my soul coming out. So his podcast is called the Key Nutrition Podcast. But let me, and I've been on it twice. So it was the second one. I was like, that's me. That's my freaking soul. He does such a good job. But anyway, my point is when he was on my podcast, Brad Jensen episode, Brad was addicted to hardcore drugs for a decade of his life. We're talking meth, heroin, all of that, like, you know, like the full bit, like homeless, you know, in and out of all these different houses and all that stuff. Now Brad runs a highly successful nutrition coaching company, a huge podcast. I mean, he's got millions of downloads. Um, ben Greenfield's coming on his podcast soon, which is a big milestone for him. He's got a supplement thing. He's like, Brad's awesome. So that's where his life is at now. And I love what Brad said about all the times he tried to get past addiction. He kept saying, like, he wanted it, he wanted it, wanted it. It wasn't until he believed that he's like, I know I'm doing this. He believed, like, fully, I know I'm doing this. And that's how I feel about, like, accountability coaching. It's like, I'm like, okay, what if I told you right now, like, okay, you're going to meditate 30 minutes every day, and you're going to work out for two hours every day. I wouldn't tell you to do that, but... And you're like, okay, yeah, 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 I can, okay. I. <laughs> but your belief isn't there and you don't actually want that all the way. What happens on our accountability call check-in? You're like, oh, yeah, I didn't do it. I suck. The problem is with this mentality of doing things that we don't really want and believe and have our heart in. And we keep putting all these pressures on ourselves to do all these things. And then we feel like this failure, which disempowers even more. So that's how I feel about accountability coaching. I don't want to work with you if you want me to hold you accountable. Now, if you want freaking like resources and education and help and paradigm shifts and community and all of that, all of this, that's great. But I don't want to be your accountability coach. (laughs) I want you to be accountable to you. I want you to show up for you. No one else can do that. Right. And then when you're in this disempowered, like somebody else got to do it for me, it's not going to work. 
And I will also be honest, like if I've tried and tried and tried with clients and they just continue to not show up for themselves, they don't come, they don't get on calls with me. They don't come on zoom calls. They're not checking in. They're never messaging me through the app. And I'm like, trying. I'm like, they're not ready. That's okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue to like push them down this, like you're failing at this coaching thing that you just invested a bunch of money in. (laughs) If they're not ready, they're not ready. That's how I feel about it. Like, it's just, at the end of the day, the only person who you're accountable to is you. You've got to show up for you. That's it. And a lot of it is like, I find when there's a lack of showing up, there's, there's a lack of, it's, it's usually because the decision to do these things is coming from some sort of outside pressure of I should be this way, not I want that. Oh, male entrepreneurs, you guys are the worst with this. <laughs> you big hotshot male entrepreneurs that just want to look fit so you get like accolades and ego. Oh my God. Come back when you want it. But if it's coming from this place of, or women, it's like I got a thing coming up this summer and I want to look hot in a bikini for other people, but you don't actually want to feel fit, you don't want to feel better in your body. It's not going to work. So that's a huge thing. It's like, it's not really a want and a deep desire. It's I need to meet these expectations. And those are the people that want accountability coaches. And if you want an accountability coach, you can probably go get one for a hundred bucks <laughs> and do the same meal plan that's floating around online and all that crap. Because you'll be like perfectly aligned with them. <laughs> mm. You got to want it for you. And when you do, it's like easy. It's easy. It's it's so much easier. It's like, I want this. You keep showing up because you want to. A lot of times we find excuses to not do things because we don't really want them. (laughs) Sometimes it's limiting thoughts and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of it is because it's like, I should be doing this. I should be that person. I should look like this. I should blah, 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 blah. Trust me. When you want to feel good... You're going to start making choices that help you feel good. When you really freaking want to grow a business, you're going to be after it. If you really want healthier relationships, you're going to be after all that deep personal work. Because it's like, mm, saw something. It's a, it's a desire thing. So you have to do it for yourself and no one else or it won't work. In a story period. Well said. That sums it all up. I'm going to read that one more time. You have to do it for yourself and no one else or it won't work. Amen. Thank you. (laughs) Summed it up. Summed it up. (laughs) You just made me finally do my taxes. Yeah, hopefully you want to. (laughs) Reunions, weddings, special events are the worst reasons. I know. That comes from Patriot Trainer Fitness, so I'm assuming you're a trainer. Get it. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. Dude, we got to get out of this outside in thinking of I need to be this way for other people. (laughs) Until you want it. Uh, Hold on. Let me go back before it disappears. You have to do it for yourself and no one else or it won't work. Thank you, Wine Lady 1313. (laughs) Stop watching show after show and being lazy. Well, if that's what you want, that's what you want. If you want to watch show after show and be lazy, you won't find a way to do that. And it, it's just, it's honestly like, take the freaking pressure off that. If that's what you want, that's what you want. Just freaking own it. I want to watch show after show and be lazy. And that is what I want. Right. And take away those. Like, I don't have time to go to the gym and say, and literally change it. I don't want to go to the gym. Stop saying like, I can't figure out how to grow my business and say, I don't want to grow my business. <laughs> You start having those real checks with yourself. It's like, Ooh, I guess that's what's going on, you know? And it's like, Just be real with yourself. (laughs) So yeah, I don't want to be anybody's babysitter. If you're ready to show up for you, I can help the shit out of you. I can help you so much. I love doing that. But I cannot ever, 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 and this goes for all of you guys who are into health and you're trying to like push it on your families and stuff. Words of wisdom. You cannot help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. Or is not ready to. Sometimes you're just not ready. Sometimes somebody got to go through some deep shit before they're ready. Yep. 
And it's like, when the student is ready, the master appears. That is so true. So love helping people who are ready to show up. Right? Like, I don't want to. Yes, I do have my assistant, like, email my client sometimes. Like, hey, we haven't seen you on a call in two weeks. Like, what's going on? But, like, after that, I'm kind of like, all right, they're not ready. <laughs> and it's, I'm going to disempower them more by just constantly reflecting back to them. Like, you're not showing up for yourself. You're not showing up. It's just, it's not going to work. I cannot help someone who won't help themselves. And I've got tons of clients. And I don't, I can't even keep up with the demand on clients. So it's like, if you're not ready, like just don't do it. <laughs> it's like other people who are ready, you know? So like, and so many of my clients, they just show up. I don't ever have to remind them to be on the zoom calls. They're showing up. They're ready. They got their pen and paper. They're ready to dive in. You know, they're doing the work. They're doing the morning routines. They're showing up for their workouts. Like they're diving in. I love helping people in that place. I can help you so much. If you're not in that place, I can't really help you that much. It's going to be like me dragging you with a rope across the ground instead of running by your side, right? You got to be like running, right? You just lay there. Like how much good is it going to do you if I'm, you're just laying there and I'm dragging you with a rope? That's what it feels like as a coach when someone wants an accountability coach and they're not showing up for themselves. I'm like, feel like I'm just dragging them across the ground. I'm like, I'm not going to do that to you. It's okay. Just lay there. <laughs> and when you're ready to stand up and come run with me, we're going to run, baby. Let's go. <laughs> You know, so that's how I feel about accountability. It's like, no, dude, it's not this outside in. I need somebody else to hold me accountable. Please stop saying that. If that is you, which is super common, stop saying I just need someone to hold me accountable and start saying I just need to be real with myself. That's all and honest with myself. That's just really what accountability is. It's just I just need to be honest with myself about what I want and taking a look inside on like, what, what are the results I'm getting from these choices? Do I want these results? Maybe you're okay with those results and that's okay. Then stop pressuring yourself. But that to me, accountability is just self-honesty. And when you're trying to put that on someone else, you see how that doesn't work? <laughs> so you just keep lying to yourself and all this crazy crap making up excuses and it's like you're like this little kid that's like trying to tell their teacher well I didn't do it because my dog ate my homework it's that shit so disempowering what's up Nick it's got to be internal intellectual honesty yeah yep he's like sometimes you gotta take that little uncomfortable shitty thing and be like oh yep that sucks I am doing that okay <laughs> well at least I can see it you know instead of but when you're in this like victim me like somebody else is in charge of me you just start making up all this crap. Well, I mean, I would have gone to the gym. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, I don't care. I'll just be real. I don't care if you go to the gym. <laughs> Nobody freaking cares. Nobody cares. I want that for you because it's like going to be really awesome for you. But if you don't want it, like, I don't care. You're like, go, just go ahead and not do that. Just do what you want. I can share with you like the joy that it's brought me and many of my clients and friends of being healthier. But if you don't want it, no, that's fine. Just stop pressuring yourself then, <laughs> you know, but just be honest about those things. Accountability in, 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 in its healthiest form is just self-honesty. That's it. So I think I've, I think I've been redundant enough. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. My biggest like recap of the whole message is stop saying I just need someone to hold me accountable <laughs> power. I just need someone else to hold me accountable. Here's so here's my power. There you go. <laughs> mm -mm. When you're ready, when you're ready to go, yes. Hiring somebody who can teach, like help you run faster. That's smart. But saying I need them to hold me accountable is the biggest victim mindset, disempowered thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so stop saying you need someone to hold you accountable. You just say, I need to be honest with myself. End of story, period. Okie dokie, guess what? I'm getting ready to go on Dr. Pompa's podcast. You guys know Dr. Pompa? I'm going to record it in 30 minutes here. So, uh, crap, what's the name of his podcast? Cellular health reset <laughs> shoot i don't know dr bombs but I, I'll, I'll let you know 
Dr. Prime was awesome, by the way. Okay, I'm working to become a holistic health coach, and this is my biggest fear, working with client that needs heavy hand-holding accountability partner. Yeah, so just be clear about that. <laughs> that that's not what you're doing, right? Yeah, you have to hold yourself accountable and do the work. Yep. And just being real, if, just side note, I have found the more you charge, the less you attract clients like that. So just words of wisdom from being in the industry for a minute. The, I'm just being real. The worst clients that I've had are the ones that I charge the least for. <laughs> it's usually that mentality. And I, I'm, yeah, just being real. I'd rather do an app or things like I'm doing like that for lower price points because <laughs> then people, it's just up to them. But there's a certain level of personal development that kind of has to come to be able to like afford a certain level of coach. And so like they're ready. It kind of like pre-qualifies people. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. Like, uh, the amount of money you're making, is a little side note, is really reflective of, like, the personal development inside of you. Because if you don't believe you're, like, worthy of creating and making more money or whatever, that's all over your life. So, it's just true. Like, the amount of money you're making is reflective of, like, how you think. So, if you want to improve on that, I recommend reading um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill as a starting point. And then when you get done, read it again. And then when you get done, read it again. And then actually do the stuff that he said to do in there. Because <laughs> it usually takes the third time. I've read that book four solid times. And I've revisited the chapters many times. I love that book. It is not just about money. It is. I don't even look at it as money. I look at it as enlightened thinking. <laughs> the book is freaking awesome. So anyway. All right. I'll close it up. Stop saying... I need someone to hold me accountable. Start saying I need to be honest with myself and just watch what happens. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.